Hey, change up your life and get to it. Change up your life and pursue. Genius talk. How y'all doing today? As y'all can see, I got my brother here with me today, Julius. But first, I would like to say it's your boy, Low Case. We finna. Get into it, man. You know, today hump day. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Happy hump day, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Wednesday. Make sure y'all humping on something. Getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the word for today is consistency. This brother right here, I've been knowing him for over 10 years. He's been very consistent at what he do. You know, he does the photography. If you need DJ, whatever it is, my man has a great business. Beautiful photos, whatever. Y'all know Valentine's Day is coming. My man can get it done. You know, but this is genius talk. You know, we here, we, we provide an all good energy. If you feel like you're a genius, you can be on the show, come talk to me. I'm willing to talk to everybody. My man Julius right here, I want him to, you know, introduce himself, let him know. So I'm Julius with Julius Photography. It's a great opportunity to be on the talk with Keith today, um, talking about con being consistent. There's so many different levels of being consistent, you know. Um, as we know, COVID-19 has is, a, is among us. It allowed us to, you know, either, you know, the best businesses to sit back or, or get ahead and adjust as COVID-19 affect us business-wise. So for myself, being consistent is is essential, an essential piece to everything that I do. Business-wise, life-wise, school-wise, parenting-wise. Being consistent, you want to be consistent every single day. You know, you want to work on yourself every single day. You want to work on your personal business every single day. You know, take the time to figure out, okay, this is a certain amount of hours where I can complete this and get it done. As long as you're consistent every single day, that'll lead, that'll help you um, achieve your ultimate goal of what you're trying to do. Do you right, agree? Right, right. I agree. I agree. Um, for me, consistency is every day. I tell my men it's every day. Like consistency is basically routine. You gotta get up and focus on what you need to do early in the morning. Get your brain right, drink some water, eat breakfast, but be consistent at whatever you need to be done. Like I said, Julie is here today and he does photos. You know, he got his photography business, but every day he's doing something to help the brand grow. Consistency with whatever you're doing it has to be every day. You have to give love to it, and you gotta be patient. That's another thing with it. You gotta be very, very, very patient. So, I want him to like kind of talk about his business, what he got going on for himself. So, like, tell the people what you do. So, currently for Julie, Julius Photography, if you do not know, so we we don't just offer photography services. We also offer DJ entertainment services as well. However, most of the business has been reflected around just full media photography and studio photography. Currently right now we're having a Valentine's Day sale which is $50. You get three 8 by 10s and you get two 5 by 7s but the, and $50 depending on for an hour you come in with your family you do your photo shoot and then the next day the prints are available for pickup or drop off. Um, we also accept we're, we're we're accessible to every single one. So what that means is if you're not able to come to our studio, we can set up an appointment time and travel to you. So this is what the consistency part is. I'm going to bring that back in. So you, once again, you have to be able, as a business, you have to be able to adjust to every single situation um, that arises in order to see revenue to the bottom line. So I'm consistent in photography work. I'm working on... Even though St. Patrick's Day is not coming up, that's soon to come. St. Patrick's Day is around the corner. Right, so, right. you know, we're getting ready for, even though Valentine's Day is not here yet, we're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day now. And then the next holidays, you want to be, you want to be a Are you Irish? Irish? Are you Irish? I feel Irish. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. Hey, long, long I'm, I'm Irish. As long as you feel it, <laughs> I, there's nothing to it. You 
know, you believe it, you can see it. Guess what? You can do it. I feel Irish. I believe it. So guess what? I can see it. So. And first of all, I love all Irish people. For anybody out there, y'all know how hard I go. Uh, good night. We need to hit up all the Irish bars. I wish I had a coin to flip right now. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah, man. um, what did he say? The luck of the Irish. The luck, the luck of the Irish. Right, right, right. So, for some of y'all who don't know me, I go by Low Keys. I am a rapper slash musician. Now a podcaster, entertainer, whatever you want to call it, I can do it all. I'm a jack of all trades. If y'all want to play some spades, we can do that too. I'm just saying. I thought you didn't know how to play spades. Now you can play spades. <laughs> wait, first of all, wait, wait. first of all, anybody out there, I'm the king of spades. It's like take two. <laughs> I'm, I'm consistent when it comes to spades. Okay. All Some right. of y'all gonna be watching is gonna be like, you don't know what he's talking about. My boy P can vouch for me. We get some done. But anyways, consistency. We want to know what you're consistent at. Are you being consistent enough? Like I said, it's a routine. It's every single day. More than anything, how do you measure your um, your consistency? How do you measure it? How, what is your 30-day performance review for yourself on the consistency aspect? You know, How do you know that you're fully, fully being consistent productive-wise? You know, what are you doing every single day that's going to um, help you achieve your overall goal? And if it's not, then guess what? It has to go. Right. Okay. Okay. You said goals. Being consistent with your goals are very important. Me, personally, for myself, I write my notes down in my phone. Every day I have something to do or something to look forward to. But you have to write them down and do them the next day. It, it's always something that needs to be done. So if you feel like there's nothing that has to be done, that means you're not doing enough research or you're not just, you, you're just not doing enough. Or you may be focusing on the wrong thing. You know, that's right, the, I, right. I, can, I can say that, right. you know, so many times where I went down my, my, my goal list and I'm like, okay, you know what? We have to do a, a list between realistic and, and not realistic. And then we have to, you know, narrow it down to say, okay, these are the smart goals. This is what I'm going to be able to reach today. This is, I'm going to reach this long term. I'm going to reach this short term. So when you set goals, you need to set long term goals and short term goals, but you also need to be consistent and patient and know that, okay, this goal is going to take time because I haven't, you know, experienced X, Y, Z to get to this part yet. Right, so right. that's where a lot of consistent comes in and patience come in. Um, right there, because um, you may be working on something that doesn't even have any, um, you may not even have a need for that goal. You know, you right. may be just spinning your wheels and wasting your time. The last thing you want to do is waste time when it comes to being But productive. also, I don't mean to come in off, but whatever you do, it has to be natural. It has to be. It, your, your gift is very important. Whatever you're, whatever you're good at, just do that. The consistency comes with you knowing what you're doing. I'm so glad that you brought that up, not to cut you off. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm so glad that you... So, I, the reason why, you know, I want, so I want to say perception. Perception is definitely key. Right. And now I want him to hit on perception about, you know, because that kind of ties into what he's um, trying to explain now. So, pretty much like, okay, what did I say? Routine, consistency, love, energy. Oh, energy. Energy. It shows. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> This oh, show, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold every on. single day. Energy is like, that. that's probably like one of the best things you can do. Energy, you have, first of all, you have to give off some type of energy to whomever it is or whatever you're doing for it to come back to you. That's the part of being consistent, but you always, you have to show like you're interested in as you go, things progress, but you it's every day. It's every day. The energy will come back to you, but you've got to put forth the effort. And you have to accept the fact that, you know what, today is going to be harder than most. That means you're, mean you're on the right track, actually. It's going to be hard. You want it to be hard. You don't want nothing to come to you easy, because guess what? You didn't work for it. You want to be able to work. You want to build the ground up from the ground up. It's like a house. 
If a house doesn't have a foundation, guess what? You can kiss that house goodbye. You want to build that same foundation as an individual so you can, you know, build up. And, and you want it to be naturally. Um, perception is key. So when I said perception is key is that, you know, that energy, it sh you don't think it shows, but guess what? Oh, boy, it shows. You know, your I'm attitude, your stronger. walk, your talk, and what you do, it shows. Presentation is key. Presentation. If you have a gift and you're very into it, like presentation too. People will take you serious on how you look. So you have to take care of yourself as well. Whatever you're doing, you have to take care of yourself. It has to look presentable to people for people to take you serious. I'm going to ask him one question. He's probably going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what this show is for. Right Listen, this is... Genius talk. Genius talk. If I can remember, okay, y'all. I'm going to have a little wine, so I'm going to try to get it together. Genius talk. Great energy naturally inspire us somehow. That's what genius talk is. Now, consistency. What? Julius, I'm asking Julius. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> now, I'm listening. We're getting into it now. In your life, I know you do photos. Okay. Right? I know you do photos. Okay. But what are you truly consistent to every day? <laughs> An honest answer. An honest answer. I love to get up every single day and empower individuals and make them keep going forward in life, you know. And that's either through my photography, that's through regular natural conversation, that's through uh, just helping out, uh, phoning a friend. I am able to influence people and help them. I make people keep going for their dreams and, you know, I, that, that's what I thrive on each and every single day. Was that a great answer? Good you? answer. That's a good answer. You thought I had yeah. an answer. Yeah. You thought I, so, an answer. So, I thought I didn't either, but I did. <laughs> so, for me, y'all know, I got four beautiful kids. I four. thought it was five. Oh, 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 it's four. He said four. He's yeah, see, he just, yeah, see, y'all yeah, see, he I'm just, not, he's just like y'all. He's adding numbers, <laughs> just like my friends out there. We ain't adding numbers. That's the people being too nosy. Right. I think they know it all. Right. Right, now, Wait, that's a different conversation. <laughs> that's a different topic for so, a different day. I have four beautiful kids, three sons and one daughter. Now, my consistency comes as a father. This is every day for me. Anybody knows me know that every day is about my kids. From the time I wake up, from the time I go to bed, they get a hundred percent consistency from me from the beginning to the end. Start off with my daughter, she might get a good morning text. I, you know what I'm saying, I just gotta let her know that I'm in her life and no matter whatever I, whatever happens that I'm here, but I'm starting with her early in the morning. That's my, wrong. You know what I'm saying, then it's my three sons, but I'm doing this every single day. If you wanna build a relationship with your kids, it's every day, it's routine. You gotta do it every single day. That's the consistent part of it. In the long run, that will help you out. Now there's a lot of deadbeats. They don't understand this because they haven't been doing this every single day. Now to the <laughs> now to the ones out there, now to the ones out there that's not doing anything. Right. It's it's, it's on y'all. Come on to you. How's it, that going for you? Let's it, ask you. How's you know, that working for you? <laughs> do, do, do your kids love you the way they're supposed to love you? No. Do, they, do they listen to you the way they're supposed to listen to you? How's that going? I didn't think so. So maybe you should listen to these tips because they are some great tips. And, so, and, they're and you know what? Work. You know what? It's all simple. It's all simple. Like I said, your daily routine, you know, being consistent, it has to be every day. You have to show love. You have to be patient. And you got to give your kids energy. They feed off of everything you do. My youngest is two, and everything I do, he's, he's, he's trying to do it the this, this same, like everything. So you got to realize that you're a role model. But if you're there every day, your, you and your kids, your relationship will be beautiful. Absolutely. But it's every day. It's basically with anything. It'll make, you, it'll, it'll make your day feel way better, like much better. You'll feel the love and everything. You have to do it, though. It's every day. 
as a black man, as a black family man growing up and, and cultivating your own family and developing something that's personalized to yourself, um, I own everything what he just said and I actually felt it personally. Um, so I, I had to come out and say this. Um, you know, that is a, a very, very essential part in building a relationship and a bond with your child from the door. Not only that, you can learn from your kids. Like me, like me personally, being around my daughter, every time I'm with her, I learn something different. She could just be around, I feel like an idea pops up. That's the, that's the inspiration. But if you're around your kids, it happens. It's that easy. But you got to be consistent. One thing that I, that I really, really respect and, and I've seen my, my own child do, which he's, at, he's only four years old, but he's developed his own relationship with God at an early age, you know. You know, he, said, he recites the, you know, the Lord is my shepherd, shall not want. He recites it word for word without us saying it, without us Are you Christian? But yes, born and raised. Born and raised. How, I many, how, my, many, how many of y'all can say that? Born and raised. Christ. I gotta I gotta give my, my, my group a special shout out. Go ahead, shout go out ahead. to Abundant Life. I had to give that a special shout Abundant out. Abundant Life. I know some that, of y'all don't know me, but I'm here with y'all and I'm here with the men. <laughs> <laughs> um so once you find like my son is my moral compass, you know, he Every single day, just like he said, you know, it is a very, you are the energy. What they see is what they're going to do. So you want each step to be congruent to their lifestyle as well. So, I mean, if they see you acting out, guess what they're going to do? They're going to act out. They see you, you know. They're going to give it, they're gonna give it right back. They're, they're going to act out respectful, you know. So you have to, that, that switch always has to be on when your child is around. And it's like it's like confidence being a stain that you can't wipe off. You know, it always have to be there. Um, and and your kids are the parents are the biggest kids role model and learning system. Yeah, we rely on the school system to teach us this and that. And third, actually, it starts at home. That's what we say. So uh, it starts at home. One hundred percent. It starts at home. I actually started to homeschool my own son. You know, doing our own curriculum. And whatnot, because I believe in you know even though he's not going to school right now, we do these daily activities where they're basically educational activities where it's helping them to write, math, read. You know, it starts at home. You know, so so I, I can't express that as much. You know, um, and then for myself, you know, this is kind of like my and in life. Um, my father wasn't around, so what does that mean? I'm gonna be the best damn father my son ever has. That's what. That's exactly what that means. No. I'm gonna be the best husband that my wife is gonna have. That's what that means. Now, okay, 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 okay. We can get into it. I'm sorry, it. I didn't open up a whole. No, uh, okay, okay. Listen, we can get into it. We can get into it. We, did we, I do it? I did. You it. did it. You did it. Here we go. We we can get into father talk. I know plenty of men that having grew up with a father most men like to say oh the streets are my father first of all you have to set an example just because your father is not around doesn't mean you can't be a man that grotesque grotesque mentality so, that's what i call it which is ugly. i love my dad and i love my mother they both play a very humongous role in my life right um majority of my life my mom has been around Nothing against my dad. I love my dad. Me and my dad have a, a very great relationship. If you have one parent in your life, understand that they are there to help you. You can't hold the other parent accountable because it's still somebody in your life that loves you. You have aunts and uncles that can play that role. You have big cousins, big brothers, or you got friends that's like brothers to you. You can reach out to them and they can help you out. Just because you don't have your dad around, or vice versa, if you don't have your mom around, it's always somebody to willing to help you out with your life. And if you don't have nobody, you gotta be strong enough to do what you have to do. You gotta make somebody. You get. Yeah, you if gotta, you don't yeah. have nobody. You gotta create somebody and you right. gotta make that. And there, and there, and, and there's multiple ways to do that. But right. you gotta keep your head up. You gotta right. keep pushing. Right. Consistency every day. If nobody's in your life, 
you can't be blind by the signs. I heard Wallover say that. I seen in the video the other day. He said you can't be blind by the signs. He was like, as people in your family I know that don't support you, they ain't been supporting you. So don't look for them to support you. You can't be blind by the signs. There's other people in your life that wants to be in your life. Those are the people that you need to focus on. And from a stand, spiritual standpoint, those are lessons. People, family members that are in your life that have made several mistakes and you've seen the mistakes that they made, okay, don't don't put it against them, but you learn from that mistake. You So you don't repeat the same mistake that they repeated, and guess what? You got a leg up. I yeah. just went up like that. Yeah. That's what that means. So if anybody knows me, I'm a man of mistakes. A hundred million of them. <laughs> I think we all are. are right. We, we, every, so, everyone as a human is not perfect. So right. we all make mistakes. We are human. You're going to make mistakes. The thing is, you have to be patient. With mistakes, you have to be patient. So you can tell me we have to start beat, stop beating ourselves up for the mistakes that we make? You got to stop. Let it go. Relax. Wow. Calm down. Stay yourself. Be yourself. No matter what it is, be yourself. Mistakes happen all the time. I done did so many, my, my mind is somewhere else. The thing is, I'm a strong individual, so therefore, I can handle whatever comes my way. If it's a mistake, I don't look at it as a mistake. I look at it as, okay, I'm going to get over this and keep moving forward. My main thing is to stay on course. You have to tell yourself over and over, over and over, this is, this is small. I got bigger steps to climb. Yes. You got to keep going. So mistakes happen. You know, things happen, but, you know, you're going to get over it. You, you have to go through it, though. You can't feel like it's over with because that's a part of the journey. Correct. Having mistakes in your life is a part of the journey. I heard Kirk Franklin say this. You can't go over the ingredients. You can't block. You can't block what's going on in your life to try to, like, get to the next thing. You have to go through it to get to the other side. Wow. So, mistakes happen. You know, um, if you don't have a father in your life, it's not his fault. It's your life. Oh my gosh. You I have, have my parents around and it just, so you know, I've, he's been, a, I've been carrying he's a, this, so I've been carrying Julian, this weight for me since on, I was wait, a baby. Wait, 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 time out, time out. So, my friend here, Julius, when I say big, I mean like big testimony. He come from where a lot of people don't want to come from. And, and to see where he's at now is unbelievable. I'm inspired. He's 25, right? 25, right? Anyways, okay. I got him by a couple oh, of years, but shit. just talking to him daily, I'm inspired. He has overcame something I don't think I can do, but Seeing that he can focus on his life and continue on a straight path is crazy. It's, it's like phenomenal. And business-wise, he's at a point to where I want to be. See what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Like, how do I do it? I don't know. How, Leah, how, yeah, how do you how do, do it? I, uh, how do I do it? That's the thing. I took away try and I threw it out the window. You just got to do it. To try is to fail. If you try at something, you're always going to fail. Don't have a backup plan. Don't wait for somebody else to pull you through the threshold and get you through what you need to do. When you want something done, you got to get it done on your own. Do it yourself. That's what they say. You want something done? You want something done right. You do it yourself. Correct. So, and with that being said... You know, there was, has been so many situations that I've been put in myself where I had to conduct individual research based off of to get me forward in life. So that's why I'm all, I'm all about inclusive and, and learning what I need to know to advance myself to the next way. But I'm not stingy with it because at my circle around, I bring people along the way with me as well. You know, job-wise, life-wise, you know, once I feel that I've been given a gift. And you know what? That gift has to be utilized to the fullest capacity. And that's through photography, that's through family, that's through work-life balance, that's through, you know, school. You know, I got a master's degree at 25 years old. You know, three more years from now, I'll be a, a doctor of business administration. You know, no one told me, you know, you know I, I remember my counselor telling me, you know, just real quick, 
you know, oh, you're only you only qualify for a two year school. Mm. You, you'll never make it to mm. a four year. Only qualify. I looked at her and I said, you know what? Maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe you're right. And I went to a two year school, but guess what I did? I worked at the same time because I knew nobody was going to give me something. That's I like right. nice things, so I wanted to work and go to school at the same time. And that's what I stuck to. I stuck to that from day one. You know, and and I knew what I had to do, so I just had to do it. You know, and I stopped trying. That's the thing. He was I doing stopped. it. He was doing it. He Key was dedicated. Word. Key word. I would always say, oh, I'm trying to do this, trying to do that. And I realized, I'm like, hold on, wait, back up. You're trying to do what? You, you failing. That's what you're going to do. You're going to try to do this and X, Y, Z. You're going to fail at it. Want to know why? Because you're trying. So when you try, you don't give your 100%. You don't get, you don't you're get, just trying something. Because you know that. Because you, you know that. Talk to him. Because you know talk that, to that, him. That, that ain't a permanent try. That's just you're trying it out, you know, so I'm giving you this phone just to try out so you can take back. That's I'm not it. trying nothing in life. We have no time to play. We have, time is not our best friend. At all. You know, we have no time to play. We have to be consistent at life, goals, work, everything. You know, right now, you know, people, savings, everything. Get it together. Get it together. Consistency, y'all. Consistency. So, as y'all heard from my man, y'all got to get it together. So, like I said in the beginning, I, I've known him for probably 10 plus years, right? I've been through a lot of friends, you know, whatever. But our relationship has built because we can elevate each other. That's another part of it. You've got to have people around you with new ideas. People that's willing to elevate you that can help with your success. And, and you got to be around people that's identical to you, meaning... Whatever you're doing, they gotta be into it. They gotta, they gotta, you know what I'm saying? Be on you. Not, uh, okay, I'm gonna say cheerleader, not cheerleader, but they have to big you up on what you do. They have to believe it as much as you do. But those type of people you want around you. The goal is. Three, eight seconds. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, goal, the goal is change. That's what we're doing. Evolution, right? So. That's what we got to do. Have people around you that's going to elevate you. And pick out your key stakeholders, too, in your life. You know, there's people out that God put into your life that you can actually, okay, there's my biggest cheerleader. I'm not going to get advice from this person. But if I get this advice, this is what I'm going to utilize. But thank you for tuning in with us. Got mm -hmm. anything to say, Marquise? Listen, genius, genius talk, genius.